Hello everyone, this is Moot, and in this tutorial we're going to make a bridge from one building to another. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we need to create a range pole. Go to our recipe, range pole. We see that we need a staff, square piece of cloth, uh, co coach needles, and uh, square, another square piece. So let's go ahead and start with our staff. Uh, we know that we need a carving knife. Drag that into our crafting window and go ahead and pull up uh, a log All right so we got a log drag that over to the other side of the crafting window let's go ahead and make a staff only need one of them okay staff complete put that back alright now we need a square piece of cloth in order to create a square piece of cloth we need our spindle okay and in addition we need to create strings first so let's go ahead and make a couple strings from cotton track the cotton over combine the cotton let's make strings of cloth here we go remember the higher quality a chance a higher quality string of cloth um, depends on the quality of the spindle um, so if you you know if let's say this was 99 quality cloth and or cotton and you wanted higher strings of cloth then you need to have higher quality spindle so we're just going to make i don't know 10 kilos of strings of cloth that's enough let's put this cotton back let's go ahead and uh bring our our loom which is on the other side of this sinking building let's see if we can push that in there nope it's okay let's go ahead and add the loom drag the cloth combine it let's make a couple couple square pieces of cloth and go we're just gonna go ahead and use up that whole whole string and it's good enough for government work great let's go ahead and put the other strings of cloth in all right so we want st our staff and the square of cloth into a range pole Let's go ahead and make a range pull. They're an unfinished range pull. Now we need to add other pieces. So let's go ahead and add our other piece of cloth and let's go ahead and grab our Coke chenilles. We need eight of them. All right, bring eight of them in there. Can't combine it. Uh, you get these Coke chenilles from crustaceans, I think, more like uh, cave bugs and um, Scorpions. So we made our range pull. Great. The other thing you have to make is a dioptra. Um, I'm not going to make that here. It's a little bit more intensive, but um, in order to learn how to make it, uh, you know, you can go ahead and find, you have to make a protractor and a site compass. You can use your compass that you started with, the newbie compass. A uh, protractor takes uh, brass while the site takes bronze. All right. So let's go ahead and pull the card over here. Let's go to one side over here. Let's climb up. Climb up. Climb up. Okay, so this is for a single person, uh, someone who's not gonna be able to hold it with you. You're gonna take the range pole, you're gonna right click on the range pole and you're gonna plant the range pole. It's planted. Great, now you wanna go to the other side. Let's go ahead and drop this range pole since we don't need that's an extra one. Drop our cloth off while we're at it. Okay, make sure that this is lined underneath the stairs so that we can access the inventory of the cart from above. We're going to climb up. Okay, we're going to activate our dioptra. We're going to look at the range pole from the other side. We're going to right click. We're gonna go ahead and plan the bridge. It's gonna take us 33 seconds. Now, the farther away the bridge is, the longer it's gonna take the plan. In addition, you can go go ahead and you can survey, and survey tells you what the distance is, how far the uh, how far the range pole is from the dioptra, what the slope is, and just kind of helps you plan all the other aspects of the uh, the slope and the dirt. 
we can cover that in a different video when we make a bigger bridge two wide three wide etc all right so that gives me an option after i went ahead and planned and i know that you know it's two flat places so it's not a problem flat wood flat brick or flat marble well i'm going to go ahead and do a flat brick it's a pretty simple bridge it's going to go straight across as you can see i already created other ones and it's going to be town square bridge because that's what i'm making right here north to south uh, you can see my compass north to south finalize and there's a finalized bridge product now i want to go ahead and start building a bridge and we'll see if we can build it in less than five minutes uh, we're going to go ahead and add the bridge to the and let's look down here bring up our this is the cart okay and we know we need 60 so let's go ahead and bring 60 in here and the rest in here and let's go ahead and start making the bridge i like to combine this and that's pretty much it you know you just kind of build a bridge And as you can see in the in the menu that you're going to need, you know, depending on how far the bridge is and depending if you have abutments, all these other um, attachments that you have to do to the bridge uh, will depend on what what items you're going to need to complete the bridge. But as you can see here, it's a pretty straightforward bridge. It's pretty much only one tile across, doesn't need a whole lot Um in, it doesn't need a whole lot period so go ahead and have fun experiment uh leave a comment if you built any bridges i'd love to see pictures of it i love to see how people's creativity um comes through in worms it's the reason why i love this game if you have any questions you can go ahead and uh, post them down below and in addition i'll link the wikipedia uh, the Wikipedia page or the Wormpedia page in the description. So if you have more questions, you can ask him. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out as a Worm player. Um, yeah, hope to see you around.